Hi folks, my name is Jay Amarillens and I'm a transformation engineering lead here at Software AG and a specialist in the Eris product set. And today we're doing another in our series of Eris tutorial videos. Now today we're gonna to be focusing on something new. We, we've been talking a lot about reporting and, and analysis and simulation. And today we're gonna to look at visualizing the changes between two different processes and helping to understand potential benefits of change. And to do that cost benefit analysis, to do that, that analysis of your models, we're actually gonna try and use the errors attributes themselves as a result of simulation to post side-by-side -side spreadsheets. Now, what is a spreadsheet in Eris? Well, a spreadsheet is a special type of model. For this, I'm gonna to go to Eris Architect and create one to show you what it looks like. This is a model of our reporting that is 2B. We've got a model over here that's reporting as is, and I'm gonna create a spreadsheet model as a comparison and cost benefit analysis. Now you see I've, I've got over here uh, already a spreadsheet created, but you can just right click and create a new spreadsheet model here. And in my spreadsheet, I've got my cost benefit analysis started. And it's just got headers for my as is and headers for my to be. Here is my reporting as is and here is my reporting to be. But if you look up at, up, up at the top, you'll see something that previews how everything is going to work. Because we're actually gonna pull the Eris items from the left side, aka our navigation pane, into the right side and show how everything is actually being used. We're also gonna pull Eris attributes and Eris attribute values. So let's start with our reporting as is. What are the steps in our model? Okay, so let's take a look at the as is, open up our objects, and you'll see here are the steps. We, we ingest in the data, and I can just left click drag. Then we're gonna validate the data. We're gonna run the procedure, then generate the report. Here are my four steps. In our 2B, it's a little bit more, there's a lot more steps. I'm actually gonna do a different type of thing. I'm gonna copy and paste a bunch of steps in. So I'm gonna go here, select either control click selecting all of these steps and copy and paste, or you can right click and choose select uh, all of this type or kind, um, select all this type, which will select only all of the functions. Copy, control C, or right click and copy, and over here, control V or paste. Uh, and now we're, we're, we have our six steps here, our four steps here, and now we want to find out some more information about it. So let's put steps over, over here as well. Next, we're going we're gonna to ask some questions. What is our processing time and what is our bottleneck time? But to do that, we're going to need to have those statistics coming out of our recent runs of simulation. And those are actually contained within the attributes of these objects. So I'm gonna type equals, and you'll see it's gonna pop up a bunch of options here. I'm gonna say, I wanna find the Eris attribute. So I'm gonna put it over on the right side because later on I'm gonna be referring to it with formulas. The Eris attribute of uh, processing time sum. There we are. And you can see it's actually gonna do a little tag here, processing time sum. And then I'm also gonna choose one more, which is my equals Eris attribute and then dynamic wait time sum. That's the amount of time we are bottlenecking on each of these steps. And so I'm now going to refer to this with a, with a, re a reference to two different objects I built, I brought in. Remember, once again, this is a real Eris item and these are Eris attributes. So how do I connect the two? I'm gonna go equals Eris attribute value and then which, what's the Eris item? This one. What's the Eris attribute? This one, uh, so I'm gonna do sorry, this one, and then semicolon, this one. If you remember, put the semicolon in there. Close my brackets, and you see, well, there we are, Eris attribute value of A3G3. Now, here's a really handy tip. You can fill down, but of course, it's gonna also fill down this series right here, so I'm just gonna control C and control V, pasting these in, just so I can do a quick, easy fill down. So control C. Control V, and you can see it's going to be processing time, sum on each of these. The same can be said for bottleneck time. Equals Eris attribute value, this, comma, dynamic wait time sum, and copy that down. 
we're going to do that uh, on this time, this one as well, to get the as is and the to be. So I can just take an idea of how long it's going to take and whether or not it's actually better uh, for me to, to do this uh, through the as is or the to be. Remember, part of the value of the system is not just helping you get better by showing you what you should do next, but rather telling you which projects you should and which projects you shouldn't do. So now let's take a look at our, our, sum, our summation of our times. And let's do our total equals sum of bottleneck time. And our total equals sum bottleneck time here. And it seems like, well, it turns out we aren't actually improving our bottlenecking time. We are actually increasing our bottlenecking time with this brand new design. Remember when our previous, um, our previous run of the simulation experiment, if you've seen that video, you can see that we have uh, a better optimization. Well, we haven't quite implemented that optimization yet of increasing the number of administrative assistants. Perhaps that would reduce our bottlenecking time. However, you do see an interesting thing. It turns out that while our bottlenecking is currently higher because we haven't got the right resources allocated, when we do fix that problem, we will see that our processing time is actually substantially improved by going through this to be process. And so we're clearly on to something. We just haven't allocated the proper number of resources. And so of course we can always do these, these things like equals this one divided by this one. So you can see that would be a 38% savings um, on uh, time, processing time. However, we still have to resolve this bottleneck time. And so in a spreadsheet, we're able to pull the ARIS attributes, we're able to see how they work with each other, and ultimately we're able to see a path forward comparing two or more different ways of building a process. And so that's using spreadsheets. Once again, it's drawing upon some of the data that I've pulled from, from simulation, but you can do this drawing on data from anywhere. You can pull ARIS attribute values from any of your objects. You can see and maintain things. And that's the other pieces of a puzzle that's pretty cool. Let's say I wanted to have a description, for instance, a description of equals uh, the ARIS, uh, let's see, equals ARIS attribute, ARIS attribute description of this particular step of the process, and let's do equals ARIS attribute value, this one and its description. You see that's blank, but if I double click, I can actually maintain that attribute here. And so now I've actually created the description of generate report right here as part of our comparison and cost benefit analysis. And once again, if I go back to generate report, you'll see maintain that attribute here. In fact, I can actually use spreadsheets, not just as an analysis tool, but also as a fact sheet for maintenance. So spreadsheets are super, super handy. They're available in, uh, in your ARIS instance, and they're able to help you analyze and maintain all the information you want in one source. I've, you've been a listener. I've been Jay Merlinson, Transformation Engineering Lead here at Software AG. It's a pleasure to speak with you today, and I hope that everyone is going to get a chance to share, comment, like, and tell me what you'd like to see next. We've got a whole series of videos coming out, and we'd love to get your feedback on what you need to know. This has been our, another Eris tutorial video, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.